Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today, I wanted to get on and talk about this topic because I posted on my Facebook feed earlier asking this question and got some really great answers as usual. Um, I love um, the people that come into my comments sections and share their thoughts. Um, and so I wanted to come on and share my thoughts around this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here's the thing. Um, is it ever okay to give an ultimatum in relationships? The short answer is yes. Bear with me. The thing is, is that if you have reached the point where you are throwing down an ultimatum, and I'm, I'm talking about for big things. I'm not talking about little negotiations that happen through the course of a relationship and like whether and if you're sharing space with someone that negotiation has to happen probably daily right of you know what am i willing to live with what's really bothersome and then the ultimatums usually come when you've reached that deal breaker point and they often don't just come out of the blue so it's not like you go from zero to 60 um, like that and you go from you know just kind of going along and then all of a sudden it's like you know that really bothers me about you and if you don't change it we're done it's usually a culmination of a lot of built-up resentment and there's probably been lots and lots of conversation around whatever the issue is there's often been you know prior attempts at negotiation there's often been, you know, asking for what we need and begging and, you know, and, and maybe silent ultimatums. And what I mean by those is you decide at some point when you have asked them for something that you need and they're not delivering, you decided internally that if they didn't make this change, then they don't love you and therefore you're going to withhold something from them right and you might have done this consciously most likely you did it unconsciously and it can show up right as the resentments build and the resentments build there's a withdrawal of your love and affection and attention and you know a lot of times i'll hear people say you know that their partner's done so many things or not done so many things that have contributed to where they are right now in the relationship, which is relationship burnout, where then they turn around and say, but I love them. And here's the thing, you, if you give an ultimatum, one of two things are gonna happen. Either that person is going to receive it as a wake up call and are going to realize that their motivation for change is deeper than necessarily just the, you know, you asking, they're, they're recognizing how much they stand to lose if they were to lose you. And maybe that shakes them enough to want to embark on some healing. Or what can happen is their defenses go up and they are unable to own what you're, you know, kind of laying on them as they're part of things. If they're not willing to own that or they flip it on you and say that, you know, you're too needy and you want too much from me and I do all of these things for you and you're never happy and, <clears throat> you know, if that sort of comes up, then your ultimatum did have a result. It might not be the result that you were hoping for, and it might not be the result that you were wanting, but it's still a result. And it can inform your choices going forward. But here's the thing, if you've reached the point where you're giving an ultimatum that is about a big thing that has to do with values, morals, goals, or dreams, and that person is unable or unwilling to make those changes, then you need to know that kind of going in like so and if you've gotten to that point you probably should have left before then because if you're in an evolving supportive safe relationship 
that person is already going to be motivated to become a better version of themselves. So if that's missing from your relationship, that's going to be hard to will it to happen. You know what I mean? It's, so it, their motivation to grow and improve as a person has to become, has to come from within them. So likely your ultimatum is not going to have the result that you were hoping for and you should be prepared for that when if you're going in, right? If you've gotten to that place, then you've probably gotten to some sort of reckoning where you realize that this relationship is ultimately not working as it is. And given the response that you get to that realization and you're, you know, verbalizing that if your partner isn't also hearing that and saying, yes, I agree, and what can we do to change things, then you can hope and love and, you know, wish all you want for that person to change. And you can give all the ultimatums in the world, but an ultimatum only works if you're willing to follow through on it. And so boundaries are different than ultimatums, and so it's really important to know that if you're setting boundaries in a relationship that there's space for that growth to happen whereas an ultimatum it tends to just sort of put another barrier in place to that growth and healing to happen my suggestion for you is if you've reached that point where you're all, like you're ready to to lay it all out and and give an ultimatum then you know it would be helpful to approach it in the right way um, i.e. first you're going to want to know that depending on the outcome you're going to have some choices to make and you got to be you know you got to be cool with that the second thing would be um, you know make it as um, a poop sandwich so go in with you know I love a lot of things about you. I want to build this relationship with you. I'm feeling disconnected either emotionally or physically. I really love to find a way to deepen that connection. However, I feel like there's some things that are standing in the way of you sort of fully um, embracing the, the changes that need to happen in order for us to move forward. And I know that you, that there's a part of you that really wants to improve and maybe you're just feeling a little bit scared and I totally get that. And so I have some resources that I sort of gathered together that I thought might be helpful. And if you're going to do that, um, then have some resources available. Don't just sort of like lay it out there like, blam, if you don't do these things, I'm going to leave or you're going to have to get out or, you know, whatever. Um, go to them with the thought of like, you know, if there's still something that you can work with, right? If the relationship isn't completely kaput um, and you still, you know, if you're still, I love them, but you got to be real about what that means, right? So when you love someone, there's usually um, an element of admiration within that love. And so it's really hard to feel admiration towards someone who's not living their their values and morals. And if they don't, if they just don't line up with yours, that's okay let them go and find someone whose morals and values and goals and dreams do align with you and then you'll find that these things that come up in the relationship are are not the same right so the things that are coming up in this relationship are are really really um important and stressful because there's something out of alignment there so be be clear on what you want but also understand that the other person might be really hearing this for the first time. You might have said it a million times, but the urgency around how you're presenting it, um, as well as the supports and resources that they could actually utilize to work on the things that they have a challenge with, that could be really helpful. So an ultimatum is only really helpful if it comes with supports and resources. Otherwise, 
or uh, or it comes with consequences otherwise it's just an empty ultimatum and there's no real incentive for change and no real um, route or uh, path forward for that to happen so you know come prepared with some maybe some names and and contacts for some therapists that you think that you know would really work well with them or um you know some podcasts or some books or like you know you know that person better than anyone probably if you've been together for a while you know how they best receive information maybe start sliding some you know TikToks their way that feature you know really great um coaches and male um uh, coaches that are talking about this self-improvement and and whatnot and who are really there to create a healthy uh, environment for men to grow in their emotional capacity there's a, a ton of them out there right so um and there's a ton of great podcasters out there on relationship uh, dynamics and, and healing those different things. But ultimately what it's going to come down to and what it always tends to come down to is each of you are on a journey of growth and healing and the healing really takes place um, in a therapeutic setting, right? So the growth is something that help uh, that happens along the way with the healing and it's all kind of you know interwoven and they work together um however one without the other is going to be really really challenging so or one without support of the other so i really recommend that with with whatever resources you come to bear that you do provide some resources towards some counseling or therapy for your loved one because I think um, and then and also be willing to just kind of leave that with them and say look I know this is a lot um, I want to leave this with you for a little bit and so you can kind of digest it and then let's kind of come back and talk about you know what you think of some of it and and then go from there because it doesn't have to be an all or nothing if you if you get if you get it in the right spot in, in the right place in your relationship right if you get it before you reach that point of relationship burnout where you just really where you just don't really care anymore whether it works then don't even bother with the ultimatum just leave right just go find you know find yourself again find people who are going to support you and enrich your life and who are on a growth and healing journey as well um, because really like at the end of the day if you're going to expend the energy to do an ultimatum that's that doesn't come with some resources then you're already out the door anyway so you might as well just keep going right i know it's hard and I'm not saying it's easy and I'm not saying that, um, you know, you need to do it alone because that's what, you know, counselors and therapists are for, right? So if you're kind of in that space and you're feeling kind of stuck and you don't know what to do and you're, you know, you're ready to give an ultimatum, but you don't want to and, you know, you're, you're afraid of what's going to come next, I totally get that. And I'm here for that. I'm here for women and couples who are experiencing um, these kinds of struggles, right? To help see them through to the, to the other side, whatever that may be for them, to kind of get them th over this bridge and, you know, hopefully avoid completely gutting each other in the process, but maybe finding a new way to connect and to reconnect and and find a new way to love each other both are possible it just depends on which route we're going to go right which route the relationship or each individual is choosing to go so i'm here for you please feel free to um comment uh, again i love reading the comments that people leave on these topics and um if you're struggling and you're not sure where to go please feel free to reach out. I have a ton of resources that I can share with you on relationships, on, uh, you know, self-love, on finding yourself. Um, I have a, a bunch of therapists that I can refer people to if, you know, if you have a spouse who, who would prefer to work with a man or um, someone of a different gender. 
or someone in the LGBTQ community. So, you know, I have all of these people available to me that I can refer to. And as well as, you know, I'm here to maybe offer my services as well. So thank you for joining me. I have, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope your weekend is lovely. Namaste.